Howdy! My name is Lisa Snyder and I'm the author of Photoshop CS5 The Missing Manual and co-author of iPhoto 11 The Missing Manual. I'm also the chief evangelist of iStockphoto.com, the world's most fabulous royalty-free image, illustration, video, and audio resource. I hope you enjoy the following step-by-step -step tip. Howdy! Today I want to talk to you about pushing a photo through literally any shape you can imagine. As you can see here on the screen, I've pushed a photo of a beach pineapple and lay scene through text. And now when I click on this other tab that I've already got open, you'll see that here I've pushed a photo through a shape. The technique is exactly the same, and as you can see, it is really, really useful. This would be great to show off a prize-winning photo on a business card or even a web page entry to a gallery. So we're going to take a look at how to do it using this photo that I've already got open from the depths of iStockphoto.com. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create your text. So press T to activate the text tool. And then from the font or typeface menu at the far left of your options bar right here, you want to choose a big thick font. So I'm going to choose Impact, but other fonts that would work well include Arial Black or Helvetica Extra Bold, anything that's got a lot of surface area to push that photo through through. So we'll, we'll go ahead and choose impact. And as far as size, I know by having done this before that 64 point works really, really well, but you can experiment with that. Over to the right in the options bar, we have the opportunity to set text color, but in this case the color doesn't matter because of course the text is going to be our photo. So we simply don't have to worry about what color the text is. As long as you can see it while you're creating it, you're good. So now we'll mouse over to the document and click once to get the blinking cursor and I'll go ahead and type the text which is in this situation Maui. And I need to move it around on the screen. However, you don't have to go grab the move tool at the top of your tools panel to move the text. All you have to do is mouse a little ways away from the text you're creating and your cursor will turn into an arrow. At that point you can click and drag your text wherever you'd like on the screen. And if you need to make your text bigger, you can of course double click it and then hop up to the options bar and change the point size. Or if you're more visually oriented, you can change the text size with a keyboard shortcut. On a Macintosh, that's Shift Command greater than to increase size. Seriously? There we go. Or Shift Command less than, that's also your comma key, to decrease in size. On a PC, the keyboard shortcut exactly the same except for you want to swap the control key for the command key. So to increase font size, it would be Shift Control greater than, and to decrease it, it would be Shift Control less than. So I'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger here. And again, mouse away from the text so my cursor turns into an arrow so I can move it around on the photo. Now I'm finished messing with the text. The next thing you want to do is put the photo layer, or the image layer rather, above the shape that you're going to shove the photo through. In our case, that's the text. But in order to put this text below the image layer, I need to make the image layer editable. Right now it's a locked background layer. So I'm going to simply double click the background layer to make it editable and I'm going to cleverly name it Photo. Now I can either drag the photo up in my layers panel or I can drag the text layer down below. It doesn't matter which one you do. Now we're ready to shove the photo through the text and of course you can do that in a couple of different ways. You can uh, activate the photo layer and then trot up to the layer menu and choose create clipping mask. That will do the trick. See now our photo has been shoved through our text, but I will undo that last action and show you one other way to do that. If you're a fan of keyboard shortcuts, or if you can memorize a whole slew of modifier keys rather, <laughs> you can do the same thing by holding down the Option key on a Mac or Alt on a PC and hovering between the dividing lines of the two layers. See how when I hold down my Option or Alt key the cursor changes to two intersecting circles? As soon as you see that cursor change, go ahead and click once and that is the equivalent of trotting all the way up to the Layers menu and choosing Create Clipping Mask. And as you can see, now when we choose Layer Create Clipping Mask, it actually says Release because we already have a clipping mask going on. 
And that's all there is to shoving a photo through text. Uh, another thing that I wanted to tell you about is if you want to move the photo within the really mask is what we created. We have masked the photo to the shape of the text. Then you can grab the move tool and make sure that you activate the layer that you want to move. So if we want to move the photo, we can activate that layer. And now as I click and drag around on my screen, I'm moving the photo inside the text. Now if you wanted to move the text instead of the photo, works exactly the same way. You can give the text layer a single click to activate it. And now when you mouse over to the image and click and drag, you're moving the text and not the photo. So with just a very little work, maybe an extra stroke and a white background, you can create something like this. So here I have added a drop shadow and a very thin stroke or outline around the text using layer styles from the effects panel at the bottom of the layers panel. And then if we look at the other example, our Maui Board of Tourism, you can see another shape altogether down here. The technique was created in exactly the same way that we just did, creating a clipping group. And this particular shape was an illustration that I snatched from iStockphoto.com, but this shape could be anything. It could be a brush stroke that you've made with one of the funky brushes that live inside of Photoshop. So the next time you want to add a, a big punch of creativity to a prize winning photo, consider shoving it through the shape of your choice, be it another illustration like this turtle, be it a paint stroke like I said a moment ago, or text. See you next time! If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll check out my full video workshops on creativelive.com. You can also connect with me on Twitter or on Facebook. In fact, if you click like on my Facebook fan page, you can get a free two-page cheat sheet each for Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, and iPhoto. And if you'd like to grab 10 free high-resolution images from iStock Photo, plus receive a discount of 20% on your first purchase of 50 or more credits, then you can visit my landing page at iStockPhoto.com slash Lisa Snyder. Until next time, may the creative force be with you.